This is a massive update for all Brizzy Cloud users. And I think we're not stretching it so much when we say it's a massive update. And though I will touch on 20 features in this video quickly just to show you what we've done, and then we will have full tutorials rolling out in the coming days. What happened under the hood is more than 400 additions and improvements, and that's why we call it massive. This is just the beginning. If you go look at the webinar on Brizzy Cloud, you know that within the timeline, there's still a lot coming within this year. But let's dive into what we've got in this massive update. The first one is external pop-ups. And an external pop-up, what is that? Well, you can create the pop-up directly here within Brizzy, where you would normally create a project. Now you get the option for a project and or a pop-up. And when you create the pop-up, you do it like you would normally do a pop-up. And then after that, you grab here with embed, and that will give you a code that you will need to insert the footer of any site. Like I said, in the full tutorial later that will roll out, I will show you how to do that. The fact that we can create both websites and external pop-ups now means that your dashboard can get very cluttered. And to help you with that navigation, we've included a very nifty filter. Up here, if you click on websites, it will only show you your projects, which are websites. And if you click on pop-ups, you're going to see all those external pop-ups that you have created. All projects over here, and you can also search. And then here on the right, you can sort them by most recent, alphabetical, and date created. A highly requested feature is the changing of names of sub-accounts. And that is as easy as pie. Well, there's a number of features that go in here. You can create, of course, as many sub accounts if you have Brizzy Pro as you please. And within Brizzy Free, you're only limited to one. But creating one now, you can go back later and you can change the sub account's name and you can also easily delete it. With that, let's have a look at team members. And here again, many features that we've gotten great feedback on, and we hope you're going to be pleased with that. The first one is that the roles assigned now, when you hover over it with your cursor, you will see exactly what this person can do and cannot do. The blue check will tell you what they can do with the little pink cross tells you, nope, you cannot do that. And now you can change their role simply by clicking on the drop down and assigning a new role to them. I think you're going to be highly pleased with that. No need to resend the invite for them. Simply change it over here. Another great addition and upgrade, new and improved, right, that you're going to be happy about is when you want to assign your domain. Over here, I've got this project, and if I click on it, you know subdomain and custom domain. Clicking on custom domain now, if you assign your custom domain to it, you can go with the C name as well as the A. So of course, here I just give you an example but we will show you in the video how you can do that. And just remember, like usual, it may take up to 48 hours for it to register. Let's jump into pop-ups now, and I'm pretty sure many of you have been waiting for it. It is now fully integrated within Brizzy Cloud. So not only do you have the on-click pop-up within the page builder, but you also have here, if you go to settings in the sidebar, pages and pop-ups in the splash screen sidebar. If you go to pop-ups, you create a new one here at the bottom, add new pop-up, and then to give it a different name, click on settings, change the name, and once you've done that, you just simply click on edit pop-up. Again, like normal pop-ups, you go ahead and do the styling or select off one of the pre-made blocks, and then, then to the settings you go, choose display conditions, set your conditions and triggers, save your work, and after you've done that, also update. To return back to the page, go to settings, Select the page you were working on and click on Edit Page. Full tutorials on all of these new additions and upgraded features coming in the following days. And now let's look at new elements included within the Brizzy Cloud Pro. The first of them, comments. The comments element allow you to display comments from either Facebook or Discuss, easy to set up and easy to select. And the next one, timeline element. Wow, look at what this element can do. It can do vertical, it can do horizontal and different styles and everything done the Brizzy way. Absolutely amazing. The audio element, though it's been SoundCloud before, now allows you to bring in custom audio. Very nice, upload the custom audio from your podcast and play directly from the site. Switcher element, 
Again, something done the Brizzy way. Switcher element allows you to switch between various alternatives and then you simply just bring in the content that you'd like. Star rating element for all you star lovers out there. Lots of control over this rating element. The video player has also seen an upgrade. You still have Vimeo and YouTube plus additional controls over that. And now you can also host your custom video. Simply upload and play. For all the newscasters out there, Twitter has arrived. So make sure that you check out the Twitter element that's also now within Brizzy Cloud. Simply click, link, and then you've got your Twitter account going. A great feature that we've been promoting already is the shortcut key to go up a level when you are within a box. For example, here I click on an element and I press escape on my keyboard. That takes me one level up to the column. And when I press escape again, it takes me to the settings of the block. This way, if you're ever stuck, you can just quickly press escape and it will jump to the next menu. And with this comes improvement to our toolbar display areas. Usually when you were at the top of an area, it would overlap the content. But look here, as I click on the text, the toolbar will pop down to the bottom, not overlapping the text. But if the text is at the bottom of my window and I click on it, the toolbar jumps to the top. Those are new additions. And then let's talk about improvements. We've added two new styles for the progress element, plus a lot of other features. You can really go crazy on the progress element. Similar, what we've done for the tabs element. Well, you're going to love this. Vertical and horizontal options. Look at all these various things you can do with it. I think you're not going to know what to choose because there are so many options. The accordion element, similar. You can add icons and tags. Gallery element, look at what you can do in terms of tags. Click on an image, give it a tag. Tag appears at the top and then makes it very easy sortable. As well, you can put styling on it the brizzy way. Countdown element includes new added styles as well as a redirect message for when that countdown reaches its base. And now with the counter element, you get three stunning styles which you can express all the various ideas you can with a counter element, making it so much more than just a normal counter, but even pie charts. Another improvement to the GUI is the option now to lock the more options sidebar and also to put it on either left or right, depending on which content you want to have visible. These are just the features that we can show you visibly, but there have been so much more going on. We've made an optimized rewritten options for the builder, including border, box, shadow, code, mirror, color picker, image, upload, input, text, multi-select, element, toolbar, select, slider, switch, tabs, toggle, and the list goes on. We are hoping that you'll have a lot of fun with these upgrades. Join the community for the discussion on everything going forward on Facebook. Make sure you subscribe to our channel here on YouTube and also visit us at brizzy.cloud and brizzy.io.